been a while since we last met. A lot has happened since then. Good to see you all here. I hope you've uh, travelled well, those of you who've come from quite some distance away. Um, this event is part of an overall review that ECZ and UNGP is working together on um, within the framework of the program that is spelt out here, the consolidation of the electoral process in Zambia, which is financed by the European Union, uh, DFID UK, USAID and Irish Aid, and UNGP itself. And it's a program that will run until the end of this year. Um, so this is a key activity uh, in 2017, this review across all the main departments of ECZ. A review to understand what happened over the last elections, the good things, the not so good things, the things we need to change, the things we need to improve at, across all the dimensions of organizing elections. So working with the media is clearly an important part of that. Um, we need to reflect on a number of issues, I think. I think we need to acknowledge that these elections were possibly more tense than previous elections in Zambia, at least by Zambian standards. They were very hard, hard fought and contested. I think we need to acknowledge that we weren't able necessarily to use the media as constructive partners all the time in terms of getting key messages out there about the process itself. I think key messages about the process were lost amongst a lot of the, the political tension that was infiltrating through uh, the journalistic work that was happening out there. And we also need to see this within the framework of ECZ's new and extended powers, which are, came through in the 2016 uh, New Electoral Commission Act um, that came through in May. And means that ECZ now has greater powers but greater responsibility on the electoral environment as well as just the process. And with that in mind, you may have read from election observation reports that media was one of the quite big negatives of the environment. Not the process, but the environment in terms of bias, in terms of lack of access to media, in terms of journalistic intimidation, and all the rest of it. So it's important to acknowledge these things as we go forward. What, we, what we're going to do in these next couple of days with you is to really have a very frank discussion about your experience as you went out there as media master trainers, a frank discussion about what you encountered, the challenges you faced, how effective you thought you, you were able to be. And it's not a question of being defensive or, let's say, being reluctant to admit to some of those challenges. We need to have that frank discussion as we are across all the dimensions of, of these elections about where successes happen but where shortcomings happen as well. We've already had, uh, with the media, the public relations department, I should say, already a, a few days of discussions about how we saw things from our perspective. What did we see as being the challenges? What could we have done differently um, in, in the uh, electoral period? So we've already got some ideas, but your experience out there in the field interacting with you know, uh, 
localized media houses is going to be a very important extra layer of information that we need to have to build up that complete picture. So I think that's what I would like to say really by way of an introduction. Let's have a frank discussion. Um, we have a team in place um, on the ECZ side as well as UNDP to try and help capture what emerges from this consultation with you. And this will then feed back into the ECZ strategic plan 2017 to 2021. Um, so it's not a question of just having a nice meeting and we have an interesting discussion and disappear. What will emerge will be captured and will feature in some way in the strategic plan of ECZ for all this new electoral cycle that we are already embarked upon. It's not just that we're talking about something that's happened in the past. We have to look to the future already and prepare for that and see what kind of relationship we can establish with media houses, with regulatory bodies, media regulatory bodies, uh, to, to see if we can't encourage media to have, in some places, a more constructive um, approach to electoral events. So I think I'll stop there, Logan, and uh, maybe, uh, at least, very much for my benefit, I, it would be great if we could do a, a round the uh, table uh, to, to remind ourselves who is who. Um, is that okay, Sylvain? <coughs> oh, you can do that already, yeah. all right. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Richard. We can give a round of applause. I think we'll be doing our introductions a little better when the commissioner and the